Uh, Shehri, we got a question. You just spoke about us uh, speaking towards people. Uh, this question is about people speaking towards us. Uh, the brother asked Salam, how do we keep ourselves humble and not become arrogant when people begin to uh, praise us excessively? And how should we react to people when they begin to praise us excessively? Right. With regards to people speaking to us and being praised and being flattered, etc. How to remain humble, etc. Well, first and foremost is you don't have an option. You don't have a choice. As the Prophet والسلام, said, Inna Allah awha ilayya and tawadaw. Allah has told me that you should humble yourselves. Allah has told me, He's given me revelation for you to humble yourselves. So it's not necessarily an option. You don't have an option. Can I be humble or can I just take flattery and allow my head to swell up? You don't have a choice. That's first and foremost. Secondly is, think about the outcome of accepting unnecessary flattery. When your head swells up but so big, it's only a, a short period of time before someone takes a pin and pops it. And you fall and you become embarrassed and humiliated. When you look down upon people and you think that you're better than someone else because of what you've learned or what you studied or what Allah has given you. So what, come, what goes up must come down. As the Prophet ﷺ says, that anything that Allah raises, it must go down. So that's, that's first and foremost. Secondly is, if someone flatters you, and it's the truth, they praise you, but it's the truth, and it's not from your request, you don't want them to do it, but they do it. Tilka, inshallah, ajil bush al yani. That's a good, a good thing. Because if Allah loves you, He makes His servants and His slaves love you. And if they put you on that pedestal and they give you the respect that you deserve, even though you're, humbl you're humbling yourself, then that's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But always sticking your neck out for flattery and allowing it and not making no attempt or effort at all, that's a different story and that's a recipe for disaster. And Allah knows best. Well, sure. So, the thing is, when that happens when somebody praises you, that's scary because you feel like you might, you might become powerful. So how do we get that? If someone praises you and you're afraid that you may become full of pride, the more knowledge that you have in the night to and it's real practical knowledge, the safer you are. Because you know of all the books that you read and that people think that you read much, much more than you actually do, you know that there are hundreds and thousands of books that you haven't read. And there are many other people who have far more knowledge than you. So the more you read and the more you study and the more you read about the scholars of hadith and what they went through and what they accomplished, you realize that you only have a little bit of knowledge. So no person with true knowledge, B'ilin Ayatollah, is ever going to become a victim of that type of flattery. He knows that. And a wise man also knows that flattery sometimes is, yani, as they say overseas, kalam al -masul. They say, beware of speech that's full of honey. Beware of speech that's full of honey. When someone is excessively praising you and flattering you, that's a telltale sign, that's a red flag, that something's up. They're setting you up. To give you your respect, that's one thing. To give you the honor that you deserve, that's one thing. But I'm always praising you and saying this and saying that and saying that. Something is up. So you should never ever stick your neck out that far like that. Hmm? And Allah knows best.